y'all welcome back to the hood goddess journey i'm your host ducerella the hood goddess and this is the capricorn reading and by this title you already know what's going on but first i want to say don't forget to get these views up um the most views um out of each element will get a bonus reading and the bonus reading will consist of a general reading a love reading and a um financial reading um so Make sure you get the views up. I know I'm a little late with getting out the earth signs um, zodiac. So I will give y'all time to um, get your views up before I post the winner for the bonus readings out of the earth signs. Um, don't be alarmed when I post the water signs or the air signs because they I have I posted their reading um, a lot away. I posted their reading. A minute ago before i got to you guys so um you still will have time before i post um the winner for the bonus reading um for the earth sign so yeah let me get into your reading um i was playing music in the background for the other ones but i was called not to play that because i have um a message to get out to you, to you guys i have as you can see i already got the cards out um so um i didn't have so I don't waste any time to um, shuffle them out. I just wanted to go ahead and get the cards out and get into it. So um, I will shuffle out a card of advice um, after I get done with the reading for you. So yeah, anyway, let's start with a dynamic of your reading. Um, so you could have Sagittarius in your chart or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You don't have to. Um, you could just be embodying this energy or this energy could be around you. Um, you guys are um, seeking independence. Um, you guys are wanting... I feel like you guys are taking um, risks. Um, you guys probably are traveling or wanting to travel. Um, you guys are being tactless. So you guys could be going... Could be very like... Um, bold and forward with what you're saying to certain people um you guys could be enthusiastic or wanting to be in that energy of um being enthused um or you could got you guys could be happy go lucky being honest or wanting to be honest um some of you guys could be getting um coming into some luck or wanting something to work in your favor i feel like um you guys are working on your um balancing things out too represents balance but it could be um it also could represent indecision or um yeah it could represents indecision in a way you could be trying to decide um what it is that you're wanting to do uh, where it is that you're wanting to go um i feel like you're trying to decide on taking a risk or not um you guys are working on your finances um i feel like you guys are wanting to change your aesthetics work on your credit score or you guys are trying to work on your credit score to um build your credit back up um your values may be changing um, the material war world have have you um, has you um, really um, in that energy. I feel like you guys are really focused on your money, um, your security. Um, I feel like you guys are wanting some a luxurious lifestyle. Okay, and then you also have surrender. And this is 12, 12, 12 um, breaks down to a three. Three represents, um, what does three represents? Three is the highest, um, it's the highest, um, I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the, I can't remember. I'll put it below in the um, at the bottom so you guys know what three means. The number three means. It's not coming to me, but it will. Um, but yeah, you guys are probably getting karma back. 
I feel like you guys could be crying about your finances or your financial situation because you see like right here is is little droplets of water and then the angels are wiping their eyes. I feel like you guys could be crying about something. Um, I feel like you guys could be trying to pray, are praying about um, moving forward. Yeah, I feel like you guys are trying to come into some kind of love because looking at the other cards, um, it, I feel like the energy is very low vibrational right now. And I feel like you are wanting something that's going to um, get you out of this. Um, you guys are needing to work on your spiritual development. Um, I feel like you guys are um, going through a spiritual awakening. You guys may be carrying a lot of baggage. Um, There's a lot of things that's going on behind the scenes that you can't see. Um, it's a lot of healing that's need to be done when it comes to you. It's a lot of forgiveness that needs to be um, given when it comes to the people or the people you may have hurt or other people who may have hurt you. Um, you guys could be in a state of um, trance. Um, you guys need to surrender though. You need to surrender to forgiveness. Um, and your dreams could be telling you something. You may be having like wild dreams right now, but they could be actually trying to tell you something that you need to be doing. Um, yeah i feel like you got a lot of baggage and i feel like it's a lot of things that you need to clear out of you and surrounding you sorry it's not like a super happy reading but you know it is what it is yeah i just pulled up the last card on the bottom of the day you could be dealing with a cancer don't have to be dealing with a cancer um this could just be the energy that you're dealing with or you could have cancer in your chart um, but yeah, underneath the card, um, cancer, you have opposition. So yeah, you could be at a imbalance right now. Remember when I said with the two, it represents indecision. Um, and it also represents, um, balance. You guys are not in balance right now. That's what it is. You guys aren't in balance and you're needing to get in balance. Um, it's some things that you need to surrender to. It's some healing that you need to surrender to. It's some things that you need to fix within yourself that you're not um, fixing, that you're overlooking. And um, you're being tested. You're being called out. You're being tested. Um, conflicts are happening. Things that you um, manifested or things that are things that conflict is manifesting because it's something that you're not seeing um and you need to make yourself conscious of what it is that you're doing um you're mirroring um people are mirroring you so if you are coming into a lot of conflict it's because you have a lot of conflict within yourself that you're not healing that you need to heal within yourself um cancer and you need to confront yourself you need to be real with yourself you need to be I, did i say cancer i meant to say capricorn um, yeah, this cancer could be somebody that you're, um, dealing with that, that, um, that's, that's mirroring the conflict that you are, um, going through. They're probably mirroring the same thing that you are, um, that you ha don't have healed within yourself. Um, and if this triggers you, oh, well, you know, you got some healing you need to do. That's not my problem. I'm just here to deliver the message. So you can like it. You can dislike it. It's still going to help my page out, <laughs> whether you like the, the video or not or don't like it. Um, But, yeah, it's some things that I feel like you guys may relate in a way, but it's I feel like y'all are relating on a trauma-based energy is not a healed energy um i feel like you guys are this person that you're dealing with i feel like it's another person that you're dealing with are relating on a trauma-based energy and i feel like it could be a love situation because um another card that i see out on the table um so you guys could be in your feelings you guys could be reminiscing on the past um or of how you was comfort comfort comfortable in the past um you guys are probably trying to be protective of your energy. Um, you guys, your intuition is there. But I feel like you're not using it in the right way. 
you guys are being very moody um but i feel like this this person that you're dealing with they could be very um family oriented and um very receptive or you could be this way i'm not sure put it wherever it wherever it fits um somebody's energy somebody's very caring somebody's very um you know sentimental does sentimental things um somebody could be up all night love to be up at night um sympathetic um it's a lot of defensiveness though in this energy um but yeah i feel like this is not going to be a good reading for you guys because um it's not going to be as happy and cheerful because of the cards okay so i looked up the feelings of how this person feels how these people around you are feeling and these people two cards came out and two cards came out for um your feelings as well these people around you they're not stressed at all these people that are around you or that um know you they're not stressed at all about anything that's going on i feel like they're just stress free free living out the life the no card came out first and i clarified what this no was and it said stressed so they're not stressed um and for you the cards that came out for you for the feelings the first well these cards actually came out together it was karmic and love so this person that you're dealing with um you could be in a karmic relationship you could be feeling like you're in love with this person but this person is here to teach you a karmic lesson so um it could be something that or you could be the karmic. I'm not sure. I don't know who this is. I mean, Capricorn is the devil energy. Devil energy is toxic energy. Um, not saying that you're toxic, but if you're not a healed Capricorn, you're going to carry that um, that energy of being toxic. Um, let's see. So yeah, this 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 relationship is is. It, it feels like it's going to be something good, but it is it's not. Whoever you're dealing with or whatever it is you're holding on to. Um, so, yeah, let's get into some more cards. You have the perfection of your life. And this card is basically representing and saying that it's a lot of chaos in your environment that's going on right now. It's a lot of things in your environment that... Oh, also, with this karmic card, I'm going to put in this video the link to um, my other video that's it or you can just scroll down my videos um so you can see the signs of what a karmic relationship is and to know if you were in a karmic relationship i do have a video about karmic relationships and um the signs that you're in one and um why you may be attracting these same people so definitely watch that video capricorn because it will be very helpful and it will be very insightful because i was in a karmic relationship so i can definitely tell you what it is and what it ain't you know um but anyway the perfection of your life okay so this is basically saying that um things in your environment may be chaotic things may not be going how you want them or how they how you plan them to be but um do know that it's things in the background behind the scenes that's working um for you working out for you now it's either you take these um these intuitive message and move how you're supposed to be moving or you be shifted by this energy that's going to help you change and um it's also saying she feels she knows you don't have to be a female um you can be a guy but this is just a card um women women are more emotional than a, than than men or feminine energy is more of an emotional um because I'm not saying that men aren't emotional because you have some men that are emotional. So they're just using their feminine energy within them because we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. But I'm just saying that um, anyway, she feels she knows. And this is basically saying you feel your intuition is telling you what's going on and you know what's going on. But it's like you're 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 blinding yourself. You're not surrendering to whatever changes you need to make when it comes to this situation. Um, you have 22. 22 is a master number. Um, so you have two, two, two. You have two, two, two. So definitely look up the meaning of two, two, two. Um, 
you have 30 on this card that's a three so that's three three um oh you have two 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 <laughs> you have a lot of twos out here and you have a lot of threes sheesh yeah so look up the meaning of um consecutive twos and consecutive threes because you have three 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 and I think you have like two five times anyway and you have two seven 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 anywho those are synchronicities if you're into those um but numbers do have meaning and they do um relay a message so I advise you to go look up those messages do your research um but yeah you feel and you know that something is not right and i feel like you're not you're not seeing something within this love situation i feel like you're holding on to something um you have let me go ahead and get into your tarot cards you have the two of pinnacles and two of pinnacles is basically saying you're juggling something it's something that you and i clarified it it's something that you're juggling that you are really trying to hold on to. And I feel like it's a romantic situation because you're in a karmic relationship. I feel like you're holding on to this relationship or this person is holding on to you. Whatever it is. Somebody is codependent on the other or you both are codependent because four of pentacles represents codependency. So this could be a codependent relationship. This doesn't have to be a uh intimate relationship. This could be a relationship with a parent that you're dealing with is going to be a relationship that you're um and as far as a friend this could be anybody um you could be you could love somebody anybody so don't think it's romantic okay it doesn't have to be romantic i don't know why people think just because it has something to do with love that does not mean that it's romantic okay it does not have to be romantic it's something that you keep holding on to or that you're um that um you're giving into that's holding on to your energy and it's keeping you stuck it's keeping you in a place where you feel like you got to hold on to everything that you that you um that you bring in for yourself i feel like you're juggling something it could be work it could be um a work in a situation where you're helping somebody i don't know but whatever it is you guys are codependent on each other i feel like it's a financial situation because you have the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles so um i feel like somebody could be helping you with your financial situation and um you're codependent on their finances um or somebody's codependent on your finances and you kind of feel like it, you you feel this energy that something's not right or something's not up because I feel like you've dealt with this person before because you have the two of cups and then you have the ten of swords this person has done you wrong before they've done you wrong over and over and over and over again and they're about to do it again you see they got this pen right here and they're about to poke it in they're just trying to figure out where the fuck they want to poke it at and this person over here they're not stressed out they're eating good now this person that you're dealing with they're not stressed they're good they're, these people around who who you're dealing with, they're not stressed at all. But they're they're eating good. Their their plate is good. So whoever you're giving funds to or um, helping out financially, um, or they could be helping you out financially. Put yourself wherever it fits. Okay. Trigger warning. I don't care. Um, and they could be depleting you of your energy they could be taken away from your energy um you could be working hard for all this money but this person is eating off of you they're feeding off of your energy they're feeding off of your help and they are going to come back and do you dirty again um i feel like it's uh this person is in and out when it comes to you and i say that because you have the knight of wands this person is in and out very wishy-washy this person comes in as very passionate this could be a love situation this person comes in very passionate you know they could be very um charming um very um easy to i feel like this person could try to um manipulate you in a way by using their um their kindness their passion their um 
their their loving energy that they have within them but they use it in a manipulative way um it's like they try to use love or use the fact that you are in a relationship or you have love for this person to get back in good graces with you but as soon as you do that they come back in you have the seven of swords they come back in and they deceive you they come back in and they cause deception they cause pain they do things um that cuts deep and it causes you to go in a, in a state of healing these both both of these cards came out when i clarified what this knight of wands was was about and this person that you're dealing with or this could be you um put yourself where it fits like i said um this person could be very deceptive and um it's every time you they come in and deal with you you have to go back and deal with some kind of healing because this person keeps coming in and deceiving you and then you come back in and you let them back in where is that where is, where is it at? you let them back in because you feel that you are um loving and you know what karmic relationships are like that karmic relationships are just like how these three cards are depicting like okay you have this person that's in and out they come in they deceive you you leave them you leave them go back to healing this person comes back in after they feel like you're back in a good energy that you're going to forgive them and let them back in they come back in deceive you you got to go back to healing you know why i know that because you have the ten of swords the ten of swords is saying they do it over and over and over and over and over and fucking again okay and it's something that you're not seeing you keep dealing you keep feeding into this energy and i'm telling you now you need to get rid of this energy i know that the advice is going to tell you to release i'm telling you this and watch when i when I, i'm gonna pull several advice cards for you capricorn because i feel like you guys need it um yeah this shit getting getting me mad like somebody somebody is 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 not doing things doing something right and they're causing deception over and over and over again. They're trying to make you feel like they are for you or they're loving, they're caring, or they're going to help you out when it comes to your financial situation by using their passion, by being very passionate. And I say that because you have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Wands is a bunch of passion coming at you full force, but it's going to cause the Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. Somebody's going to come in and do something and it's going to cause you heartbreak and this is gonna and they're gonna block oh my god like y'all i literally just this is on the bottom of the deck and this is the night of not nine of wands y'all just see me pick up the car now i'm about to pick up the deck and show y'all what's at the bottom of underneath that now this person's going to block you the nine of wands is talk about blocking you this person's going to block you from your finances so this person could you could be getting money from this person and you could be codependent on this person's finances with helping you and i feel like you're juggling this situation you don't want to leave this situation because they're helping you out financially but it's saying that this person is going to block your finances now let me see what's underneath here i don't know i don't know what's underneath here but we're gonna see yeah and it's gonna cause you to go in hermit mode they're gonna block you now it's gonna cause you to go in a space of having to go within and figure out what it is that you need to do with yourself you're going to have to block out all these energy vampires these people who's trying to take away from you take your energy away from you and um really go within yourself do some research on whatever it is you need to do now let me see what, what's after this yeah look at that ten of swords ten of swords again again capricorn again again this person betrays you over and over and over and over and over again now look at this you have the eight of eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is basically saying that you guys um may be working very hard working on your financial situation putting in that work um 
to build your financial situation up yeah i feel like this person it could be a love a person that you have love for this doesn't have to be a intimate person like i said this could be a person that you feel like like this could be a parent or this could be um a family member that you love or have love for like i said um let me fix my, my legs <sighs> But yeah, this could be a person that you have love for and um you could be working your fucking ass off, doing a lot of work for this person, for yourself, for your financial situation to come back into play. Um but look at this. This person is deceiving. Seven of Swords. This person is using you. This person is deceiving you. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. It's a lot of deceptive energy. Capricorn. Somebody's using you. Somebody's using you and they're going to come back and stab you in the back. And Mercury retrograde starts, um, I think today. So be on the lookout for some shit to shift in your environment. That's going to be very heartbreaking. Okay, let's see what else I need here because I just want to know. Look at that. Didn't I just show you the three of swords? Didn't I just show you the three of swords? I'm sorry, Capricorn, but um, it's something that's going to happen that's going to shift the energy and cause heartbreak on you. You're going to get stabbed and karma is coming back. I feel like it's either your karma that you're getting back for something that you may have done to somebody. Maybe you've done somebody wrong in the past and your karma is coming back on you. I don't know. Maybe you have some healing that you need to do. Yeah. You have to cut this person off. You have the Queen of Swords. You have to cut this person off. Because they're 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 no good. Yeah. You have to cut this person off. And when you cut this person off, it's gonna bring you that stability. You're going to be able to go forward, move forward. Now it may seem painful at first, um, because you still have some healing you need to do. Um, on the bottom of the other deck that I did when I was um, doing them, you have the seven of wands. You're going to have to defend yourself. You're going to have to clean up. You're going to have to clean up. I feel like you need to clean up your environment too. I feel like um, you're going to have to really get into the crevices and clean everything out within yourself, within your environment. Um get all that baggage out what 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 card was that yeah surrender surrender over all that all that is not for you give that to god to handle and clean up your fucking mess let's see what's underneath here eight of swords i feel like you guys are in your head or you're blinded by something the eight of swords represents blind blindness but it's like you're not blind. You see, she has her her face is not covered, but she's tied up. Um, she see there's nothing after her, but she's tied up. And I'm sure she can get herself out of it. But it's just like you're you're seeing these things, but it's like you would rather stay trapped in it. It's not. It's like you're trapped, but you're not really trapped. It's like you're mentally trapping yourself when you don't have to be trapped in a situation i feel like you're mentally trapped because i feel like this person is helping you out financially and you feel like this person is the only way you're going to have um a stable environment at this time but that's not the case let's see what else you have yeah two of wands you got some cleaning up to do and you're waiting i feel like you're waiting for something to change but shit ain't changing you see she has four hands and with four with these four hands she's trying to flip the um I feel like you're doing the you have to do a lot of you're having to do a lot of cleaning and I feel like you're doing a lot of hard work and you're waiting on for waiting on something to change within the situation but you're not changing anything in this situation. Let's see what else. Yeah, two of pentacles. Again, you're juggling something. You're juggling codependency. You have codependency issues, Capricorn. You're codependent on this person. <sighs> Yeah. And things are being blocked off. It's repetitive. It's rep repetitive. It's repetitive. Yeah. It's repetitive. Your it's repetitive. Things are being blocked off. Let's get your <laughs> let's get your advice. Um, 
we're going to go with this deck for the advice cards. Sorry, Capricorn, but it is what it is. Yeah, use your discernment. Discernment is your first card. I'm going to give you more than one. And 10, 10 represents closing out a cycle, the end of a cycle. Um, so yeah, close out your cycle. Get your head and your heart into balance. Go with what you feel. Get out of your head. Your head is in a clouded space. Whatever you're thinking about and stressing about, that's causing you to stay codependent because you're worried about your finances. You're trying to hold on to every single penny that you have. But in reality, you're not. you're not getting anywhere by doing that you're in your head because i feel like you have that lack of mentality when it comes to your financial situation and it's causing you to go crazy i feel like you guys are going fucking crazy and i feel like you're you you are so focused on your money and having certain things but this person is who who's helping you. They're not trying to really help you. They're using you for their benefit. Let's get you some more cards. What else do you have for Capricorn? Yeah. It says you have the free will to do whatever the fuck you want. Will. Now, if you choose to deal with this person, just know you will continue to stay in this karmic cycle. I swear. If you choose to continue to feed into this person's energy because they're helping you helping you you're going to continue this cycle of this karmic relationship and this person is not going to be stressed at all because i feel like this person is not stressed at all because they have the money they're not stressed because they have the finances they're not under pressure they know that you're under pressure and they feel like you need them. So they're going to use that to their advantage. What else you have? Yeah. You're going to have new beginnings if you leave this behind. You're not going to always be in the cold forever, Capricorn. Once you walk away from that situation, you're going to be able to enjoy the warmth. Enjoy um what you're working towards you know by letting go of karmic relationships let's see what else you got yeah you're going to have abundance you're going to have yeah you're going to have look at what's at the bottom you're going to have abundance you're going to be able to get your finances back together, Capricorn. So it's nothing to fear. It's nothing to worry about. Don't don't worry about holding on to every fucking penny. Don't worry about holding on to anything that's on to this relationship. Because this person, yeah, this person could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer. I'm not sure, but they're using their finances over your head. I feel like you're very dependent on their finances because they may be make they may make more money than you. Um I don't know. I don't know your situation. This video is for I mean this reading is for um several different people. So put, you know, fit it where it fits, however it however it goes for you, that's how it goes for you. But yeah. Abundance is there for you. You just have to let this person out of your energy. Um, you have acceptance on the bottom. And look at this. Four. Four represents stability. But you have to accept your current situation for what it is. You can't change the past. You can't fast forward to the future. All you can do is be in the present. All you can do is be in the present. And whatever you do today affects your tomorrow so make sure you are doing things that are going to benefit you um benefit you in the um future what else do i have for you to say for you um that's it um capricorn i know this reading was not very happy um very you know loving but um just know if you get these views up, don't forget to get these views up. If you get the views up, then I could give you a bonus reading on um, 
general love and financial situation you know it could be the aftermath of this if you choose to leave this person behind but do know it's mercury retrograde and shit is going to be twisted and it's going to be a lot of healing you need to do so yes yeah i'm going to leave it at that capricorn i'll holla at y'all peace